Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmadov and today I want to show you Cursor AI versus VS Code GitHub Copilot. If you know, I use Copilot for a couple of years now. I use it for work. I use it in my personal projects. I even have a Copilot and Cypress online course where I show how I use Copilot to speed up writing tasks and writing code. But today I want to show how Cursor actually understands a little bit more and helps me work faster. And this is just a simple example, but it shows where Cursor AI is winning right now. So I prepared the same file. It's literally the same file in both Cursor on the left and VS Code Copilot on the right. And I have a couple of comments. So find the task and click edit, verify model and verify model is closed. And Instead of comments, you know, I like to use log messages so that you can see them during the test. So what does it take to transform these comments into scilog commands? Right now, let's start with Copilot. So right here, I'll say scilog and um, I have to pretty much do everything manually, just surround this, right? And Copilot adds the comment back right? Because it uh, looks at the code and says, okay, maybe you want to comment for the next line. It doesn't really modify the current uh, position where my cursor is, right? Um, and then I have to go to the next comment. And even if I leave a comment in place and just say scilog, then it says, okay, you probably want to include um, part of that comment, but it's not the full comment. So I'll have to, okay, um, go back and maybe have a string, right? And then scilog. So I have to do everything locally because Copilot doesn't really help me transform the code in place. Okay, so this is the modification. All right, so not ideal. Um, so I'm not going to save this because I want the same file to be available in Cursor. So this is cursor and what I want to do right now, I'll say scilog and notice already cursor AI modified the code, the whole line in place and it shows that it wants to surround that string with actual scilog method call and all I have to do is to click tab. So cursor AI looks at the whole chunk of code um, around my cursor, right? There's no way to say it. It literally works very well with the current cursor position. And all I have to do is press tab. And what you see right now, I'm not going to move the mouse, not to ruin it, but look at the next line number 18, where the next comment is. Verify model is shown in update description. Notice to the right of a comment, I have a little code block that says scilog, verify like the whole string. So cursor looks at my file and suggest what next code modification to do automatically. And all I have to do is to press tab again. It goes to the position it wants to modify and the next tab will accept the suggestion that you see on the right. Boom. And now notice line 30 where the last comment, it suggests that I want to replace this comment with whatever is shown on the right. So not only I modify the initial position and the code, on the very first line, it immediately goes and looks around and cursor suggests other things to do in this file. And this speeds up coding a lot. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. Sometimes I'm pressing tabs a couple of times and I'm surprised how much of my file is modified. Of course, I can not press tab and I can review everything, but it's amazing how fast you can work if the AI is following along and suggests modifications that mirror what you've just done on the fly in this file. So kind of quick comparison between GitHub Copilot and Cursor AI. And I plan in the future to actually look at Cursor AI closer because this is something that I'm pretty excited about. So follow on YouTube, LinkedIn, wherever you follow me.